the story is well known. A creative entrepreneur develops a new product that can revolutionize an industry or a marketplace. Then a large company learns of the development and steals the valuable idea, daring the little guy to sue. The little guy lacks the resources to fund litigation and is eventually squeezed out of the market by its large, unscrupulous competitor. Litigation funding has the potential to change the story and give it a happier ending. A recent case in Illinois federal court shows how litigation funding can make a difference and assure that justice is available to David as well as Goliath. Using litigation finance to facilitate a meritorious claim helped the plaintiff and also helped hundreds of persons employed by the plaintiff. Miller UK Limited, a small family-owned company based in England, developed a device which allows bucket loaders to easily switch the buckets they use. Miller had contracts with Caterpillar Incorporated, who breached those contracts and misappropriated trade secrets associated with Miller's product. Miller lost business to Caterpillar and was forced to lay off 75% of its 400 employees. Miller also faced the prospect of having Caterpillar misappropriate gains from Miller's innovation. Miller sued, but Caterpillar responded with a scorched earth litigation strategy designed to make it financially impossible for Miller to pursue the case, regardless of its merits. But Miller pursued litigation financing, and when it found a funder, was able to hire the elite Chicago law firm of Kirkland and Ellis. This firm had the capacity to fight toe to toe with Caterpillar and its own high-priced lawyers. In December 2015, after an eight-week jury trial, Miller was awarded a judgment of $74.6 million in damages, including $49.7 million in exemplary damages. Kirkland and Ellis maintains that this is the largest judgment ever under the Illinois Trade Secret Act. Not only did the case demonstrate the value of litigation financing, it also confirmed its legitimacy. During discovery, Caterpillar learned that Miller was using a litigation funder. It challenged the legality of such a financing arrangement. Caterpillar argued that litigation financing constituted an officious intermeddling in litigation that is prohibited under Illinois law. The district court rejected Caterpillar's challenge, holding that Miller's use of litigation financing was permissible. The court noted that the funders had not fomented the litigation, but instead were sought out by a cash-strapped Miller embroiled in bitterly contested litigation. Thus, the Miller case provides both a happy ending brought about by litigation financing, as well as a precedent that can make more happy endings possible. If you need help funding your litigation, call us or visit our website today.